No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Crack it. <laughs> I got hit in the face. No, you didn't. Don't lie. Just a little tiny bit. Yeah. Wow, the shot begins. So we, we decided we wanted to know if you were lying. I, I seen you and uh, old boy Blueface talking about old girl. She was eating your ass. Let's get right the sitch was <laughs> The sitch was eating your ass. Um, Selena Powell. Selena Powell. Why would you let a woman do that? I mean, if she wants to, I'm definitely not turning it down. No, you don't do that, Adam. What, we don't stern down fades, right? That's one thing you taught fades, me. Fades, but you, you don't do no like that. She was fading my soul with her tongue. You should have knocked her out. That's really what you would do? That's gay, God. You're addicted to eating booty, but you're that offended. Oh, women's mm. Not a woman eat mine. I don't get out like that. I'm a hustler. Right. Yeah, hustlers don't get out like that. I'm pretty that. sure there's some hustlers that are down to get. Well, if, if they do, we don't know a cow. And if we do find out, we're going to put them off. Really? Yeah, that's not cool. Selena Powell, I'm going to send her to 55th Street. Yeah, we're going to beat her up. No, you're going to make love to her. Make her in the 55th Street alley? With your booty on? Nah, I don't get out like that. <sighs> nah. You got to yeah, think yeah. outside the box. I'm not thinking outside no box. You're a we freaky guy. Thinking. I know you could eat so good if it I came down to it. I eat a sitch ass and a sitch and bust a sitch. You fired me, but none of the other on the other side. I don't get out like that, huh? Fair enough. That's so, a Takashi 6 9 type of guy. Uh, if he wants to get his buddy in by Selena Powell with me, I'm down. But I was going to say, a sick I'm happy to have you back because we've done so many crazy, zany podcasts with, you know, the famous Richard thing, huh. the J Main thing, and all these other J-Main, stuff. J Main, all right. That's, that's a Syria. Yeah, the whoops. Yeah. yeah. We'd be saying whoops, right? Yeah. All right. But, you know. I was like, we haven't really got a chance to just sit down one on one. Although I do have my man's Officer Remo with me. Officer, you want to make that name stick? He's trying to make it stick. <laughs> you ain't no mother <laughs> officer. You're not a correction officer. You're not a police officer. You're not an officer. All right, fine. I won't push it anymore. No, no officer. Yeah, but I mean, it's just a joke. That's not a cool joke. That's well, a joke. It's a joke. You got the Simpsons intro hoodie on right now, so you're you, a hard joint. Right, but you don't look too. Oh, the Simpsons. That's how the clouds look. It's yeah. Remo. Dun, 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 dun. You used to watch dun, the Simpsons? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. Can we watch this? Which Every Simpsons character do you, uh, rep, do you relate to? I like Homer. Yeah, okay. I like Kaka drink beer. But you remind me of Krusty the Clown. Oh, hell not, no. Not like a clown, but like you, <laughs> you nah, smoke and drink no. and you're just out here trying to keep the people happy, but it's difficult. Oh, he was an entertainer. He was. Wasn't yeah, he? yeah, yeah. He was a good guy. He's he smoked, Jewish, though. He smoked a lot of fucking cigarettes, Ty. He did, and you're you're a blunt man. I smoke sometimes every blue moon, man. But, um, uh, oh, God damn, no, I'm not smoking cigarettes, no. Can you just scoot a little bit this way so that the oh, mic... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah most definitely, right? most definitely. Not that I'm trying to control your flow or anything, but, you know, the mic... Yeah, make sure my clothes is real nifty. You look good. Where'd you get this fit? I went at the stove. <laughs> What's the stove? What stove? We, uh, me and Tyler Mac went at Northridge. North Nordstrom's? Yeah. Or, yeah. or is there a Northridge North Mall? Northridge yeah. Mall. Yeah, but we went to uh, Louis Kerger's and, and Bar and Grill. That was fire. Burgers for the people. Kerger's. Right. Yeah. yeah. Kerger's. They, 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 they don't take a rocket science test to know what the fuck I'm talking about. No, that's true. But I got I to gotta translate for the white people out there. Oh, hey, buddy, buddy. I'm the only white person who can do that for them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the sole elite white. Why? As soon as I put the jacket on, I get too hot. <sighs> it's hot as a m- in here. It is? Uh, yeah. Where's your AC at? I'm glad it's not just me. Okay. What um? What have you been up to? How's life? Before we get into all these questions we got for you. I, life is all right. Why just all right? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm doing me, you know? I'm doing me. Uh, uh, just going through it. Going through it sounds bad. No, no, I'm smiling. I'm not, I'm not, it's nothing bad. A good going through it. Huh? A good going through it. Yeah, yeah, we going through life, doing Mac Ventures. Mac Ventures is doing well. I've seen that. China Mac. Mac Ventures doing well. That's nice to see. Oh, it's making nifty, nifty increments. Right. Oh, yeah. So that's positive. Yeah. But I see you getting in trouble, too. You got in a fight at the, at the game, right? I seen Remo having to stand in front of you. No, we was running through the. Thingy wingy, uh, me and China Mac was running through the thingy wingy, and I'm looking the stadium back. <laughs> you know, we're just playing, having fun like the young guys, like us do. We young guys, we, we you know, we run around, we play. So we're running, oh, I'm running, I'm looking. And, oh, we ran into this old OG um, white guy, lifer. He was a lifer, but he was an old Caucasian man, right? Yeah. 
a lifer? Well, that's what his that's what his Instagram thing was saying, like uh, ex-lifer. Thought so he was hollering at you on Instagram. You want to smoke after the fact? No, he wanted to drink some beer and go on Mac Ventures. He found out he could he could get famous. So shit, shit, fuck it. He's gonna try his best, you know. So you'll hang out with this guy again? Uh, China Mac doesn't want to hang out with him. Why not? He just doesn't like how the vibe went. Really? Yeah. Maybe in the future. Who's in charge of the Mac Ventures thing? You or, Crip, or China Mac? Me and China Mac. I have access on my YouTube uh, uh, Mac Ventures on my phone, and he has access also on Mac Ventures, so we know exactly what's getting made, what videos to upload. He's fair. He's fair. He's a fair mother. I like that. Yeah, he's fair. He's fair as a yeah, he, he lets you know everything. He'll show you what's getting made and monetizing everything. Because you've had so many fallings out with so many different... Oh, snakes, 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 a lot of... Snakes. Who's a snake? Yeah, most snakes. Who's a snake? Mr. Lovejoy is a snake. Oh boy, I thought you guys were cool again. Oh no, he's a snake. We found out he just um, he just snaked me out of twenty five hundred dollars that me and China Max sent him to his jail. What? Took the fucking increments and ran out of town with it. Why'd you send him twenty five hundred? Well, we were trying to do something with uh with the old Instagram page. He was like, "All right, well, give me this and I'll give you that Instagram." He, all types of snake shit. Him and his uh his, his big guy upstate. Yeah, all snake. Mystery guy we always hear about. Oh, they're all mysteries. <laughs> Mr. Lovejoy's mystery guy. But it's over with ODM. ODM Slim's cool. He's doing his own thing, taking care of his kids. He's a nifty father. Okay. Um, as far as I'm not doing music or nothing like that with ODM Slim. No, but that's still the homeboy though. You know, he's doing his own thing. What about Lupe? I haven't seen you with her a lot. I mean, Lupe moves. She lives so far in a big house, bro. Where? She's far. The IE or something. Further out. Further out. Further, further past Montclair, like in a nice big old house. She's really? Like, yeah, Lupe's in a big house. What the f*** is she doing out there? You can't yeah. slang papooses out there, right? No, she can't do that. And you can't manage Crib Mac out there. She never managed me. She used to oh. drive. Well, you can't pick up the bitches for Crib Mac out there. She doesn't have to do it. I, I, have, I, I can lift them. <laughs> you you yeah. send the lift for them. Right. But Lupe, but Lupe, if she's running out of increments, when I send the lift, I'll give Lupe a couple dollars so she can have Were you banned on Uber? No. You just like Lyft? No, I do both. Well, whatever the price, whatever the price is right. And then you can have two sitches being transported to you at the same time? No, I never do that. <laughs> okay. A different sitch every different day. Really? Yeah. You ever have threesomes? No, I just want a sitch at a time. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. You had quite like the tumultuous uh, number of chicks since you well, got I smell like cigarettes in your fucking place. I did. I just smelled a cig too. It's your man's. It's not us. I think it's a backwood. It's probably- oh yeah, that shit does smell like cigarettes. Right. Okay. Yeah. So so a new sitch every night. That's important. Uh, yeah, sometimes yeah, but sometimes you got a baby on the way. Right. That's um in May. Who's that with? A uh, nice girl. You impregnated a woman. Impregnated a woman. Yeah. And this is this is a real thing. This isn't like some clout. People thing. think it's a no. skit. No. This is real. No, it's real. Yeah. Yeah, it's real. It's a baby coming. So yeah. where did you meet her at? I just, I just meet people around town sometimes. You know, meet them around town and like their ass and want to f*** them in the coochie and asshole. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. They like me. And sometimes you'll just make a baby with one of them? Sometimes you, you, you keep using condoms because that shit gets tired and it takes the feeling from it. It's like, f***. Well, you can't pull out, though? Yeah, you can, but sometimes it's hard to pull out when it's getting ready to come real fast. Like, just dive in it and die in it. <laughs> just diving it and diving So this it. wasn't planned This wasn't the plan baby No this shit wasn't planned But it's happening now Yeah And all the dates add up I talk with King Five Fingers All the dates add up So I'm happy Five And it's coming in May He's helped you With your birthing cycle No Cud just let me know Like it was the different dates And the different shit How it adds up Cause Cud got a baby So he knows They know all that shit I don't know none of that type of shit I gotta google it And look all, all You think you're gonna time. be a good dad I'm the I'm see the most niftiest father with the most nifty and sinker man. Okay. Yeah. If the kid starts crying and acting up though, you're gonna have to exercise some self control and not right. just throw him against the wall or whatever. No, nah, we never do that. Okay. We're not hurting no kids. No, definitely not. No, we hurt no kids. I yeah. see they try to say you hurt a hamster the other day because the hamster. I didn't hurt a hamster. I picked up that m- in there. Yeah, that could yeah. potentially be seen as hurting him. How? No, you just, you just rose, put them in there like yeah. the Lion King. All the way in there. Okay. Yeah. Probably like seven feet up. Damn, you and might I have put, PETA coming for you at this rate. Uh, PETA? People for the ethical treatment of animals? The, the animal wasn't hurt. Right, but they Cut still... Cut went right in his cage and he sat in there. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, that's out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
So Remo, Remo uh, was doing a little bit of research. He, he has some questions that he wants to make sure that we throw out there, that we get uh, yeah. under under control while we're here. So the last time we was on live, well, actually it wasn't on live. Recently, Blazing Dog got at you. You seen Blazing, how Blazing Dog got a boyfriend? Yeah, and yeah. You gave her how, right, right. I gave her advice that she could mess with anybody else in the world. I'm not talking about myself. Anybody else in the world, but not your motherfucking man enemy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they ain't the These motherfuckers is, is, is killing your people and you sucking cud. That's bad. Do you don't think it's good that maybe the beef between the two sides could get a little bit less tense if she's, you know, having sex with him and dating him and whatnot? What kind of question is that? I mean, it could be good for the culture, right? Bring both sides together? It don't make sense. How does that make sense? I mean, this is an active gangbanger that's out there shooting you, motherfuckers, and cuffing your homegirl. But do you even know who he is? I don't know. Snoo, I don't give a fuck. Snoo, cousin. <laughs> I'm just I saying, don't care. it might not necessarily be as heated a beef, I don't know, at this moment as what you're assuming it is. I don't know. Snoo, the fuck. His name's THF Muda. So what? He's going to come on here. I'm going to have them on together. That's great. You want to co-host? She tried to say that nah. you were jealous, but you, you're not no, jealous. I'm not jealous. I'm just trying to help you from getting yourself chipped. I feel like you're jealous. That's it. You're jealous of, like, anyone who gets to spend time with Clayton Doll. I feel like. Isn't that fair to say? Uh, no, there's other women out there. That's your, like, celebrity crush. She was. Not no more. It's over. She's, it's a it's, it's a ass young sitch. You think she's, she's a... That's a ass young sitch. Why do you think she's... I think she's pretty smart. She don't seem smart. Why not? If you were smart, you wouldn't do no shit like that. Like turn you down or just fucking with the ops? No, me, cuz. I'm talking about fucking you with, with the enemies that's killing your homeboys. And you sucking their dicks. Right. What, what's You're your, a piece of shit. What's the temperature on that shit, though? Is it like... Piece every, of Is everybody... That's a, that's a <laughs> is everybody on the ground upset about her dating him? Or is it kind of whatever? Uh, Zoo made a video and he wasn't happy with it. I think he kind of like addressed it. What's so, yeah, Zoom? Like, Bezu, THF Bezu. THF Bezu. He all uh, from the same hood as THF Muda. Oh, he thing. wasn't happy? Yeah, they're not. A lot of people really ain't jacking her dating uh, <laughs> her off. I was shit. You you putting yourself in a in a, in a, in a life uh, position. <laughs> You're doing some shit like that. It can get tricky, right? It will get tricky, that type of situation. Because you got to think, this is this is a mother that's been shooting your motherfucking homies. I love that you have so many assumptions about this dude. No, it's serious. But not everybody from a gang or from a hood is necessarily the guy who's going to war, right? You can't trust that type of shit. It's five close. I have no idea if he's that kind of guy or not. It's so five I, close. I did. I, I was on FaceTime with her, or no, uh, Instagram Live, and I said something about, you got to let Crip Mac f And then I remembered that she was dating the guy, and I was like, all right, actually, my bad. Make your own decision. <laughs> I see you getting more fly and shit because she was trying to clown you about your, uh, your, about you dressing and shit. I give a fuck how I dress. I still dress like that with the shorts, the long yeah. socks. She's saying you had John Cena shorts I and shit. Fuck. So what? Yeah. I'm Navy with Crip. I got more increments than that sitch ever would have. She just hating on you? Yeah, she just hating because fuck her. You think she just doesn't understand the LA gang lifestyle? No, she only came out here and did no jumper and went cack five her city, her she, state. She probably doesn't give a fuck about the politics out here. She's up yeah. all about the Chicago world, right? Yeah, she, that's, that's, that's where she's from. That's her shit. Yeah. You know, so that's cool with her. That's what she gonna do. Right. You know? But what if you came in in the full dicky suit and maybe a jerry curl? A <laughs> jerry curl. Adam, you're a mother You know that? It's just an idea. No. No. No jerry curl, yeah. ever. Uh, Your hair looks so dense. Like, it looks like you could have the craziest head of hair if you chose to. Yeah, if I let it grow out, I could get little curly hairs. I think a, a afroed out Crib Mac would be, like, way less intimidating. It might, it might actually help you with the stitches. I don't need help with them. I used to have the shaved head, and as soon as I fucking started growing my hair out and growing a beard, I, I everybody let, was let, like, oh, you look so much nicer. But when you had your bald head, it looked like you. Yeah, because I look like a fucking rocker. skinhead. No, like somebody just rock and roll music. Well, yeah, a skinhead. But now be. you have your hair. You look different. I look a little bit more tame, but you're not trying to look tame. I mean, you ever try to grow a beard? I have a beard right here. Okay, but like an actual full beard? No, it won't grow. It won't? No, this is probably enough as it is. That is crazy. It feels like your body is teeming with testosterone and you can't grow a beard. <laughs> 
Shit, I don't know, man. What kind of questions you asking, buddy? <laughs> hey, we're going off. Buddy, top. Woody. We're going off top. Buddy, what? Yeah, break people down. Buddy on me Woody. for that. I was. I'm gonna be calling people my buddy Woody, and people getting mad at me. <laughs> what you got here? You've been saving a case of. Oh, it's yeah, a plate of a couple of, of, little tacos, couple of tacos. You want a taco? Nah, but you want you, taco or No, I'm decent. I'm it's chilling. like two and a half tacos. You eat like half of one and just left the other. Nah, two? I got another plate of the mother. Put up in your kitchen. You got six. Yeah. No, I got like I got like ten of them. Huh, that's 10. Wow. Because, you know, um, you got to go to the studio and take care of something the next four or five hours. What, you got to record? Yeah, I'm recording. What's the idea? What's the song? Oh, about sitches. You already have a premise? Or is it just you can oh, go in there and just uh, go crazy? Nah, shit, we're going to the studio. We're going to make it happen. You right. freestyle all the time or you write anything down? No, I write some, some stuff. I listen at the beat and make sure the shit add up properly. Okay. Yeah. From listening to your music, I definitely thought you were punching in. No, no I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just the greatest. I'm the niftiest. That's all. <laughs> you have a creative spirit. You for like sure. my new clothes. I like it. I'm fresh like King Five Fingers. We like the Nike. Well, King Five Fingers wears Nike fresh clothes. But one thing I always notice about you is that you'll get a fit, and then we'll just never see it again. Like it just evaporates into thin air. Nah, I mean, it depends what I'm doing. You know, if you're just out and it's hot outside, okay, you're definitely going to get a pair of nice shorts, some long socks. You're going to throw on a pair of crip blue shoes and a crip blue shirt, and you're going to go wherever the f*** you're going. But then I'm never seeing those shorts again. And I know people don't I, like to wear the same outfit twice because they're trying to be fresh. I have pairs of them shorts. Oh, really? Yeah. The uh, navy blue and uh, the royal blue shorts, yeah. Maybe I should just pay closer attention to your outfits. Yeah, I like I like those shorts. I'm cool as a mother. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Why you say fuck famous Richard? No, he's, going on him. he's a goofy. He's a clown. He's a sitch. Really? So yeah. you're still uh, holding some kind of grudge against him for all that? I don't like uh What was it about it? Like, what did he say in particular that pissed you off? I mean, it's just, it's just like he's just trying to trigger different people from out here. Like, hey, you better watch that shit you're talking. Right. Seriously. You know? Yeah, I mean, you, you at one point, it, it kind of seemed like you were about to get it in with him. No, he didn't want to do nothing with me. And you choked out his manager. Uh, we should have choked him. <laughs> we should put him in a headlock. And even if he tapped out, just keep holding it. No, no. If he taps oh. out, you, you let him let him get a little air. Right. Yeah. But you weren't appreciative of Famous Richard's whole attitude towards the West Coast in general. No, hell no. It's hard to tell with him what's a skit and what's not. He's just a troll. He's a goof. He's a clown. He's a troll. Would you do content with him again? He's a troll. A, a lot of people that you do content with are trolls. Technically, right? <laughs> I don't know. If it, if it makes sense, I don't know shit. Okay. Well, if it comes down to it, I guess we could make yeah, it happen. Trolley Wally. Well, you want to fight him? Yeah, fist. In no the gloves. boxing ring? No gloves. No boxing ring. Just right. fight. He seemed kind of judgmental of you when he watched the video of you fighting, though. It seemed like he was kind of hating on your on your fist. No, he wasn't hating. You got to think. If you have nowhere to run and I catch you with these motherfuckers, I'm going to break every bone in your, in your body. Right. Yeah. Me, for sure. In your face, by show. What do you want to say about that squabble that we had the other day? Oh, shit, Adam. Care. You, 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 you attempt it. It's like a motherfucker. You, you, <laughs> you attempt it. You, you didn't do the, the mask cup, but you didn't stir it down. You attempt it. So you and Adam almost got in the face? Uh, we had a nice little squabble with Lino's <laughs> toe. So that's the viral picture I seen with you? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Over Lino's <laughs> Oh, yeah. How'd you feel about that photo doing so well of you guys sort of? Just standing behind her. Everybody thinks you smashed. Not yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to get full eating that coochie and asshole. Holy shit. That is way more <laughs> offensive looking than I thought it would be. <laughs> 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 is he yeah. a contender? I mean. I'm still in the competition. It's for the love of Lena. And right. No holds barred. Right. We don't I'm know still, what's going to happen. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. But, okay. When we had that little fight, I'm going to be honest with you, I sort of realized how outclassed I would be against you because when you wrapped your arms around me and just started squeezing and throwing me around, I was just like, oh, Lord, this is... <laughs> <laughs> I have no chance. It was just a friendly uh, wrestling match. It's over. <laughs> Nothing good is going to come of this. That, that was the attitude that I ended up walking yeah, away with. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Adam, you're a great guy, though. You know, you just got to stop letting women eat your ass. That's not cool. Yeah, Lena ain't uh, ate my ass in a while. Lena? Yeah. Why would you let her do that? You know, it's fucked up what they say. You get married, and then they stop eating your ass. 
I don't know. Does anyone say that? <laughs> Curse mother crazy as I'm just keeping it real. You know, girls, like, they get kind of lazy as time goes by, and all of a sudden your butthole hasn't been licked in six months. That's strange as a mother. But I got other girls licking my ass, so. That's strange, Adam. But, you know, there's strange, a certain percentage yeah. of the audience that will complain anytime I talk about sex, so I'm trying not to overdo it. We can it. talk about sex. You're obsessed with Big sex. Big booty stitches, coochies, and assholes. And None my of asshole. No, not, not your fucking asshole. Women's assholes, Adam. Uh, God damn. They're overrated. Women's assholes are overrated. My asshole, underrated. Nobody want to hear about your asshole, <laughs> We're talking about women. All right, people, today it's time to talk about our sponsor, King Palm, the all-natural smoking wrap company. They're one of the leaders in the smoking industry with their tobacco-free palm blunt wraps. Their staple product is an empty leaf tube with a pre-installed filter tip. And there's no need to lick it and roll it. All you have to do is just pack it with the legal herbs of your choice. They also have a huge line of popular terpene-infused flavor palm rolls, and the cool thing about their flavor palms is the capsule in the filter tip, so you can activate the flavor at any time during your smoke with a simple squeeze and pop. They offer rollable wraps, hemp cones, and all the essential smoking accessories that you will ever need. Super smooth smoke, easy to use, and you can order them at kingpalm.com or at your local smoke shop or even at your local 7-Eleven. King Palm was the pioneer of the natural leaf wrap, and now they are one of the best-selling brands in smoke shops across the country. Check them out on socials and use our discount code NOJUMPER, one word, no jumper for 50% off all King Palm products at kingpalm.com. This is the perfect product to add to your smoking lineup. Take the natural path with King Palm. Okay. So you just recently did a uh, Instagram clip in which you basically invited Krishan Rock to your dick. And in the process, you called Blueface Custer Face. <laughs> what was uh, the plan behind this? Because we all saw you run into him at this event and you guys right. seemed like you were cool. And then I, we see this, and we're like, oh, what changed? Well, right after the little event and shit, we was cool. And then Cub, his, uh, his, his cousin d Lock, whatever, Cub, post some shit. They made a whole dis video about me. With Blueface in it as well? Video. Yeah. What? d Lock did that? Yeah, Cub and that other mother. I feel like I know d Lock. d Lock is the guy that I eventually started calling Freaky Loke, I think. Pause. But what you said, they did a video dissing you? Yeah, like, it was a video. It was a rap video. I can't find it. So I guess you I can't gotta, find I it. I gotta look harder. What do they say? Just like uh, motherfuckers act different and different in person. Custom act this and that. Some shit like hey, nigga, you talking about me? You fight me? Yeah. Blueface featuring D Loke, two cocks. Oh, that's five years old. That's definitely not it. You probably just gotta type cut name in. D Loke. No, just type it, maybe Blueface Crip Mac this or some shit. You know, Milk probably retweeted uh, it and, and, and reshared it a million times while he's fucking himself in the ass on the couch. <laughs> he makes a lot of content about you, huh? He don't go nowhere, though. Ain't nobody ever going to catch this motherfucker. He hangs on the couch. Y'all. He don't go no fucking where. Right. He, he gave me a nickname. He calls me Revolt. <laughs> Why would he call you that? I never heard that. I don't know. Just in the Mac Ventures log, he just keeps referring me as Revolt. Maybe it's D E E Loke, but yeah, I can't find it. Just put blue face disc. I did. Mac, I just I searched blue face crit mag disc. I seen this shit. And it just, it's just like, what the fuck? Hell? We just seen this motherfucker yesterday, last night. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, so what's what's going on with the milk thing though? Have you just gotten used to him fucking commentating on every aspect of your life at this point? That's all milk gonna do, cuz. I'm the only content this motherfucker ever gonna have. Right. Yeah. I'm in there too. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Josh unsubscribed to his channel, so I don't really like see it. But... Oh, unsubscribe. You were actually following Milk's channel. For a while, we were cool at one point. Oh, you was years ago. But I think Josh did the sneaky unsubscribe. I mean, you try to fake hard, kick your fucking thing in, trying to fake like he was tough, trying to kick that shit. Yeah. You remember that? That could have ended bad for him. Come on, come on out, uh, Gilligan, uh, Adam, right? That's what he called. <laughs> Start kicking it. Those scrawny ass motherfuckers. Do you f*** with being called a Gilligan, or is that offensive? No, what the f*** it is. A Gilligan? It's yeah. a character from the TV show Gilligan's Island. I don't watch shit like that. You don't? That's old as fuck, man. Oh, no, yeah. I watched it when I was a kid. Nick at Night. Oh, no. No, I did, though. Man, those tacos are really it smelling up. fierce. 
You, would you like a taco? No, but just the, the longer I sit here, the more the onions just sort of invade yeah, my nostrils. Got, you got the, the, the no jumper uh, microwave and put it in there, but I know to take this off. I was about to say, no foil. I, come on, I'm a smart crip. I know that. Did you ever do that by accident? Never have. Never? No, because I, I watch, I look at every guy. I learned that lesson the hard and way. And I would let the kids know, uh, kids, I know you're watching. Your parents don't want you watching no jumper, but you sneak and watch it anyway. Look. Don't. This foil, don't put it in the microwave. It'll explode and blow up your whole house. I did it with Pop-Tarts when I was a kid. They had a foil oh. package, put it, it in the set, fucking set microwave. The shit on fire, huh? It was just a bunch of sparks and shit. Did it you didn't sh- destroy did, the microwave. Did you shit on yourself once you seen that that shit was going like that? Honestly, I was probably like 13, 14 years no, old. I wasn't scared at that time. No. I, I, are you scared or now as a man, Adam, or are you scared more when you was a teenager? Of putting foil in the microwave? No, just a scared motherfucker. Individual person. I'd say I'm less scared now. I'm probably halfway through my life. That's good. So it's like, it feels like there's less to be afraid of. Yeah. <laughs> Just got to run in all those trolls you disrespect on the internet. You got to watch those trolls. I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you remember when you go at the seats, wear not some sandals. You got to have a pair of shoes on. At the beach? Yeah. Fadeable footwear? No, because what, what if they there? You got to fight. So you're saying I got to wear some combat boots to the beach just in case I get into a squabble? Yeah, you're starting a lot of shit with a lot of different uh, uh, trolley wallies. I'm going to be real with you. I'm not really going to the kind of beaches that I think I'm going to see an op at. No, no, you're going, you're probably going to Malaku, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Malaku. But I will be. be or Newport in, Beach. Me and my girl went to the beach in fucking Ventura County. And we definitely ran into a bunch of fucking Mexican kids that, you know, they're, they, they weren't trying. They, they loved they you. They loved me, but they also told me, like, hey, be careful. And I'm like, don't worry. It's right over there. Right. But I did run out to get my Postmates, and it was not right there. Oh. So they had a point. They could tell, too, because I'm just rocking a bathing suit. It's like, where's it at? Right. But, you know, I guess I say that just to say that any beach could be a dangerous beach. Mm, not really. It depends where you go. You run into a shark. <laughs> yeah. Would you it, fight a shark? Yeah, if I had no choice. <laughs> In a boxing I? match, though? No, you can never. You <laughs> like can a never, tank uh, of water? I'll give you a harpoon. No, no, you can't do no shit like that. That's impossible. What's what the, fishing the other day for the first time, right? Yeah, yeah. What was that like? It was cool. We got, uh, we were starting to get a little dizzy out there and a little sick. But it wasn't that bad. You know, once if you stay out there that long, there's something about it that makes you kind of dizzy a little. That was your first time on a boat? That what that type that type of shit, uh, yeah. What other kind of boats you been on? Um, well, Mr. Lovejoy had a had a, had a boat. Him and his big guy had had a, had a nice little boat. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So before the big guy went upstate, we don't know the big guy. Nobody knows him. Oh, but you went on it. Well, Mr. Lovejoy is the big guy. You have such a mysterious life, dude. Mr. Lovejoy is the big guy. Anyway, the re- <laughs> he's the guy that has that fucking bit his boat. The reason why <laughs> I remember he's scamming everybody, so we need to put that out there. Allegedly, I don't know about no, that. No, it's true. It's a motherfucker. Okay, but the reason why I was asking you about it's this and true. Blueface was because of the fact that the, like two my di- fans send me screenshots. They wouldn't lie to me. The day before you did that, I had been on here with Wag One Hundred, and he had agreed to do a podcast with you. Fuck whack one, honey. Okay, we could have got into all that, but instead you start dissing his artist right away, and then it's like, I guess he doesn't want to sit down now. Well, I'm, you know, I, 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 I tend to, you know, to say different things when you. So you don't want to do a sit down with whack if it's going to involve not talking about people that you consider your enemy. What are we going to talk about, whack one, honey? Snake me? It's, I've been fibrous. Snake me my whole fucking few years of fame. How did he snake you? Yeah, what? Snake him. He's just a snake. He was trying to set up a boxing match for you. Well, he did that and, and also putting out other all types of shit. That's strange. What did he put out? I don't remember. He's just strange. I seen a clip where uh, Wax said he wanted to manage you because you're uh, a big representation for the West Coast. I don't want Cut to do nothing with me. No. You wouldn't allow him to? No. Anything that has to do with him or Mr. Lovejoy, no. No. You wouldn't, But you would sit down with him for a podcast? I'll sit down and talk with Kate. Keep it respect five. We might need to. Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the sit she thinks I am. What about if we put a cage in the middle? So no, we can sit right here. I'm not, I'm not the sit motherfucker the guy. We're going to have to get extra I'm security. They're going to have to be in I'm the room. I'm a real motherfucking man. Right. Yeah. 
you and Wack would definitely be doing a lot of yelling on here. That's the main <laughs> thing that I could. Yeah, he likes, he's argumental. He argues about everything. Right. <laughs> and in that way, I feel like you guys would be I buddy like, waddies. What I did like. Buddy no, waddies. No, we're not buddy waddies. Oh, okay. But what I did like is how he gave Lupe's um, love five some increments when the place uh, burnt down. Well, see, right there, look, he's a good guy. Good man. Other than that, everything else is just scam. <laughs> <laughs> but he's worked with a lot of successful artists. Yeah, he is. We can sit down some time, talk. Just keep a respect five. Right. Because I'm not the six. He thinks I am. I feel like he would still sit down with you even though you just blue face. I feel like he could maybe get over that. Oh. <laughs> would you do a podcast with Blueface? Why? Make some content. See how you guys get along. We could do a podcast, keep it respect five. Right. That's all. You keep it respect five, because I'm not the six motherfuckers think I am. I would be less worried about you and Blueface and more worried about whoever you bring and whoever he brings being outside together. What? I mean, like, your homies, his homies, sitting out there for an hour and a half. Could get weird. I don't think so. But you see what I'm talking about, though. Like, real potential for things to get weird. How? Because maybe you and Blueface have enough to lose that you would both keep it cool, but your homies, his homies, maybe you couldn't say the same for them. I don't think it's just no actual hood issues like that. It's just, nigga, we don't just fuck with cut like that because of that shit that came out after we left that bullshit. Right. The next day. They dissed you the next day. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the song dropped the next day? Yep. So they, they had that in the talk. They had to, right? Mm-hmm. That shit was like the next day or the next day after that. I remember it. They might not even be around anymore. I couldn't find it. You got to uh, we'll, we'll, we'll find it. I'll sing it if I can find it. Right. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, what was you doing with Boosie the other day? Oh, uh, we was uh, at, his, at his concert. I was on stage with him. Uh, my boy Spiffy Luciano works with him. Uh, Shout out Spiffy. He gave me a bunch of weed the other day. Yeah, Spiffy Luciano. I saw him at a party. Yeah, he's cool as a motherfucker. He was the guy with the pound. Yeah, he's solid as a motherfucker. He cool, he cool. So See? he's the one that linked you over Boosie? Yeah, pretty much. He he, he was like, uh, you know, Boosie's a big fan of me. I'm like, yeah. So we we, uh, we went on um, Instagram Live, and Boosie like, he coming out to L.A., and he got a show in this and that. He wanted to meet me. We met. We took a picture. Also, I got a song coming out. It's, it's myself. It's Spiffy Luciano, um, Boosie, and Big Sad 1900. It's a song coming out we did. Well, people should hear it probably in about a week. Wait, you, Boosie, Big Sad. And Spiffy. And Spiffy together? Yeah. Who put that together? Who put all their work in to make that happen? Uh, Spiffy did and, and Boosie did. I call him Koozie Cat Ass. Oh, I like that. Yeah, because he's cool as a motherfucker. He he, he he could definitely have a cool name from Crip Mac with all C's. You called him that to his face or his... No, I, I told him when I seen him, yeah. Oh, okay. Koozie Cat And ass. he was fucking with it. Yeah, yeah, he told me when we took the picture, this is exact words, he told me we took the picture. He said he's going to put this, when he gets home, he's going to put it on his wall. Oh, I like that. The picture. So he's going to blow it up probably, and he's going to put it on the wall at his house. Because, all right, I heard a rumor that you were supposed to actually be hosting that show. What show? The show that Boosie was at. And then I heard that another L.A. rapper got booked to perform at the show, and all of a sudden, Crip Mac's name was not on the flyer anymore. Oh, they, they fucked me over many times doing concerts out here. I get fucked over a lot. So what happened in this specific case? I don't know. Probably some motherfucker from another set. It's always like that out here. So you don't actually know who, who stepped in between you? No, you got to tell me if you know. Well, I heard it was a rapper by the name of YG. No, that was another show. That was with uh. Oh yeah, Pax. it was a different show. Okay, you're right. Yeah, that right. did happen though, and um, yeah, it's just just some shit. He's like, oh, I don't think this. this he told people, I don't think it's good. He don't like me, and this and I ain't never had a problem with this motherfucker. Because you ran into him at the same show with Blueface. Right. I ain't never said nothing bad about him. Right. Never. So where do you think that came from? Uh, the, the, the Charlie Wally's clickbait the whole shit. Really? You think he got yeah. he got fooled? I mean, how you get fooled? But I feel like you did this him a long time ago, didn't you? No, not Kill. I'm just searching. Crib Mac YG. And you're just Kill. Uh, I guess maybe you're right. I don't see it. No, Blueface. I just Kill a few years ago. That was it. I didn't just YG. I don't think I did. Okay. You, you fuck with YG music? I'm a Crip. I like Crip music. I like the party beats, you yeah. know? But what yeah. about DJ Mustard? Yeah, DJ Mustard. He helped uh, T-Fly get far in life, DJ Mustard. Yeah. Would you do a song? Would you, would you do a song with any blood rappers though? 
Yeah, most definitely. Because you have good relationships with some of them, right? Yeah, Keita Rue from oh, Treetop. That's why I just up. Me and Keita Rue, we cool. We, uh-huh. we got some stuff we get ready to do. I fuck with Keita Rue. Yeah. Yeah, but with some, some Damu artists. Okay, but let's say, yeah. think of it from YG's perspective. Let's say you had a big show coming up, and they say, oh, here's this dude that Crip Mag doesn't get along with, and he's hosting it. Would you do the same thing? Would you say, hey, like, I don't want this dude hosting the event because I it's going to be problems. I don't get along. I never said nothing bad about this motherfucker. Well, apparently he's not a huge fan of you, so, I mean. <laughs> a lot of bloods ain't. <laughs> I feel like, yeah. Only some are. Right. You know. But you thought it was all good with YG, but it turned yeah. out maybe not. Yeah. Thought it was cool, you, you know. Right. It happens. There's another uh, L.A. rapper coming out, making a lot of noise. His first interview is doing crazy numbers. Well, not his first interview because uh, Street News got him first, but or Street TV. But they uh, X4. Right. He's popping off. People are fucking with it. They're saying right. he might be the next big artist out of L.A. Nah. How you feel about him? He, he might. He might. He might. He might. Definitely some great, great music, some great content, uh, some great music. So you're feeling the energy. I like I like I like how he raps. My uh, my little homie uh, Blue that with Lil HK Destruction. He listens to X Fo. He knows X Fo. Okay. Personally. Uh huh. You know them about them about the same age probably. Yeah. And I mean I noticed that uh, he's got the HK on the side of his face. Right. So you guys are kind of similar in that regard, even though you got it written out. Yeah, it's the same thing. A lot. Of, see, people got to realize a lot of gang bangers out they got hoods blown out on their face. Right. Yeah. Yours is just kind of more. It's just there. Yeah. It's more blatant because you don't have to know what it stands for. <laughs> yeah, it's just there. Yeah. Right, but you, you're feeling. Uh, would you Would you do a song with him? Uh, if time comes, if I do it, you know. If it made sense. Yeah, if it made sense. Yeah. He identifies as a thirsty crip. Huh? He's a thirsty crip. He says. He's a thirsty crip. Yeah. Well, he's from Fodies. Yeah, I know where Kev from. He's a thirsty crip. It's a thirsty. Crip. Isn't he managed by Christopher Lovejoy? Uh, honestly, I like Christopher Lovejoy. Kind of says he's managing him, but then when I interviewed him, he didn't mention anyone. Clickbait and oh, clout. Oh, that's why you don't fuck with him. Okay, he clickbaits and clouts every fucking thing. Mm-hmm. You remember? Yeah, we did a skit. Yeah, yeah. It just, it just, but everything else is just clickbait. So let me read between the lines. You are feeling the X Four wave, but. You can't like wholeheartedly co-sign him because of your issues with Christopher Lovejoy, even though we are not 100% sure. I didn't sure plan on doing a song with x I just said, my little homie, Blue Devil Lou, for killer destruction, knows cub. That's okay. all I said. What's your definition of a thirsty crip? Thirsty crip is somebody that's going to go out and get their increments however they get their increments. They're going to do what they do to get it. That's thirsty. You know, they, they with it. They're thirsty, you know? Thirsty yeah. for money is is the first thing that your brain goes thirsty to. Thirsty with the, well, yeah, getting the increments and thirsty with the gang banging shit. Okay. Yeah. Did you see the clip where I asked him about a video of him shooting shit and he just went silent? I ain't watch it. You want to see it? You can tell me about it. I didn't see it. Well, yeah. it's basically me asking a question and then him. Yeah, you can't say nothing. That's great. You shouldn't ask questions like that, Adam. It's a long, awkward silence. It might not have been you. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. I don't think it was me. Okay. But that wasn't related to any of the cases that you caught? <laughs> yeah, he don't want you asking him questions. Was that OD? You're asking Vlad questions now. I'm not going to lie. That was kind of... Vlad shit. I'm not going to say scripted, but this was the second time that we did the interview, and we... Discussed it a little bit. Yeah, beforehand. I like I like exposed music though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we need more. We need more LA dudes from the streets who are making LA's culture look good. Because would you agree that LA is kind of taking a backseat to other cities like Atlanta and Chicago in terms of? No, hell no. Why would you say that? I feel like the music's more popular. The artists are bigger. And us. Uh, in Chicago and Atlanta, huh? Well, they definitely, I mean, it's, it's at, more universal. Uh, LA just the sound isn't. Is music big. wise, Atlanta is way bigger. Street wise, it feels like people talk about Chicago a lot more. Right. And it feels like a lot of LA artists might be kind of jacking Chicago slang and stuff. I watch interviews and see a fucking 50 year old dude from LA talking about his ops. 
What? What? Um, you know the, the the word op has really like permeated like every city in America, don't you think? It means opposition. Right, but the opposite motherfucker. Chicago invention right there. Oh, is that what it is? I mean LA is talking about enemies, enemigos. Yeah. Yeah. Do you use the op language or no? Well, I told you when me and ODM Slim put together the op goblin. They, they oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you look at yourself as an op? <laughs> so why are you and ODM Slim not doing music no more? ODM Slim do his own thing, cuz I got a lot of shit I got to worry about. Yeah. Yeah. I talk with cuz. He hit me up sometimes. I make sure cuz. All right, I fuck with cuz. Oh, that's the homie. You know, I got a lot of shit I'm doing. Yeah. You know? So like you can't you can't you can't do shit everywhere. It's like it's five months. Yeah. You know? You've seen that because you've done so much content for so many different people that at a certain oh, yeah. point you just feel like it gets kind of blown out or what's yeah. your attitude on it? It's like it's just it's, Mac Ventures take up most of the day. And then you got the studio, do the features, right? And when you do have time off, you gotta do you gotta make sure you clean up clean up the house real nice, have Miss Carfield give her a bath. So she doesn't smell like a dirt bag. Miss Carfield? Yeah, that's my cat. Uh, you replace the G with a C? Yeah, because her is kind of a little orange color. Oh, who's the G's? No, Garfield is, is an orange cat. But you just turned it into Carfield? Because I'm a crap. But is there like a G thing in like LA gangbanging that you don't get along with? I mean, I just, it, Garfield is an orange fucking cat. Right, but I'm saying normally. I don't like the color orange. But you take B's and turn them to C's normally. I'm a crap. In this case, you're just taking a, a G and turning well, it. I'm not a gangster. I'm a hoodster. Right. That's what I was going to say. So like, <laughs> yeah. You're not, not you a gave fan Carfield of the a bath the other day. I did. You got a lot of backlash. You see Milk made that video? Uh, saying Milk, he was choking Milk, a cat? Milk's going to make a video the rest of his life on that calcony. <laughs> That's all Cud going to do. Yeah. Take your ass on Hoover Street, boy. Go hang out with your homies. I don't know if that's a good idea kid, either. <laughs> but some of the fans, they I seen y'all made a video showing that Carfield was all right, though. Of course I made a video showing she's all right. So Carfield is the actual name. Her name's Miss Carfield. <laughs> she's a girl. She, she's a kitten. What happened to little Tony Mac? Cut with, uh, with Lupe. Shut up. Really? Yeah, Tony Mac. Cut with Lupe. Cut big. Long live Tony. Yeah, yeah. Tony Mac's still around. He got a whole new career now. Huh? He got a whole new career hanging out with Lupe. Yeah, well, she, yeah, she hangs out with him. And then Lupe has her cat, Mr. Beans. Mr. Beans. Yeah. It couldn't be Mr. Bean, like the guy from England who never spoke. No, I don't think that's what it is. You know, I, I, let me ask Lupe. You know about Mr. Bean? I don't know, Ken. He's a cool dude. I, I want to put you on to Mr. Bean. Pause. What? Um, what the fuck are you <laughs> talking about? Do you want to see who Mr. Bean is? I don't give a fuck. I'm going to show you Mr. Bean. Why well, I got to see Mr. You know him? I mean, I don't know him, but he's pretty famous. Like he's like a TV show from back in the day. This guy, look at him. Maybe that's why her cat's name is yeah, Mr. Bean. Yeah, probably the cat's eyes. Oh wow, he has big eyes. The, the cat, cat has big eyes like that. Like a like kind of wide. Yeah. Wow. That's probably it then. Yeah. Is Lupe mad at us because we we ditched her yesterday? Well, <laughs> how'd you diss her? I sent, nah, I ditched her. I sent, oh. I sent Lupe a hundred dollars yesterday. She said she was getting stranded in L.A. Yeah, so we made sure Lupe didn't get stranded. But so how'd you ditch her? Well, we were supposed, we were supposed to, to do a ho ho Halloween thingy wingy with Isaac Mac and the other kids. And, uh, you know, do Mac Ventures, the trick or trick thing. And uh, it was getting dark. Um, he didn't have time. He was doing something else. It was the last minute five of everything. She's like, you know, but Lupe, she lives so far in a, in a nice, beautiful house. Right. Uh, further out. So it is, and, you know, and she drove all the way like, damn. So, you know, I'm like, all right, kid, let me, let me send Lupe a hundred dollars, kid. Yeah, I gotta hit her back. I know she's probably mad at me. You should send Lupe also a hundred dollars. Yeah, I gotta hit her up. What you is she gonna do? Two hundred dollars? She gonna be rich? I'm gonna make sure she gets taken care of. She might run off on the plug. We give her that much money. <laughs> she just sure gonna go get her some some of her fucking tacos in Hennessy. But well, she's a taco dealer as well. She loves tacos, Lupe. Okay. But she makes the best tacos. You never had Lupe's tacos as long as you. We've been working at No Jumper with she you. She offered to come by a cook for me one time. You should have had her do it. Fire fucking. She tacos. wanted Lena to come too, and honestly, our schedules are kind of fucked. If I told Lena like, "Hey, <coughs> clear. hey, how about we do this? Me, you, and, and, and Lupe, and Lena could go. We could do cooking, right? And we could put everything fine together. And Lupe could make tacos, <laughs> right? Only if I could fuck Lena in the ass." That might be complicated. Um, Come on, Adam. <laughs> don't play no fucking games with me. <sighs> Shit. I don't know. Ask her. 
She might be on to new things. <laughs> Can I eat a pussy? <laughs> I mean, I do find that idea less offensive than I'll you fucking her in the ass, but still offensive. All right. Uh, just give her a kiss. Yeah. You might be letting this reality show go to your head. She's beautiful, though. I ain't going to lie. Thank you. <laughs> it means a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, Lupe's tacos, some good fucking tacos, though. Right. But you understand that if I told Lena, like, hey, clear your schedule next Tuesday, cancel whatever you got going on. We're having tacos. Lupe's making tacos. Yeah. It's probably going to be a tough sell. And what else? Oh, and Crim Mac wants to eat your asshole. No, I want to fuck her in the asshole. Oh, right, right, you right. said I can't fuck her in the ass, but I can eat her ass. It's less offensive. I did not say that because I know you're going to hold me to that later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to think about it all night, Adam. But that's, right. th that's a connection that me and you have, though, because you were with me and Destiny when I told you about the Jason Love scene for the first time. Yeah, yeah, Jason Love. You were the shoulder for me to cry on. What's going on with Destiny? How's he doing? He, how's Destiny doing? He's good. He's getting a lot of hate because of uh, some of the stuff that he's been saying about Palestine and Israel. Oh, he better stop. You fuck with Palestine or Israel? I don't know him, cuz. I don't know them. <laughs> I don't know. If you had to pick a side. I don't know. Well, would you want to go with the side who has a lot of money and a lot of weapons and a lot of international support? Because in that case, you might be down with the Zionists. No, see, that, you don't you don't do stuff that they have a lot of stuff going like that. You know, it's 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 which of the the team is gonna play fair. It could be argued that neither oh, team is war. really it's playing war. fair. No, yeah. Oh yeah, it's war. Yeah. Oh. If you like an underdog, you're gonna love the Palestinians. I don't know because they really got their back against the wall. Let me tell you. Yeah. So yeah. what's up with your weed right here? You got your Oh, yeah, the blue Mac. I tried. I tried to solve it. I tried to have Crip Mac solve it, but. It's the blue Mac right here. Uh, oh, yeah, I, this, is I, the, this is the strand. If you, have, if you go and join the war, I have, yeah. a, I have a name for you. Yeah. Benjamin Netanyahu. I don't know what the fuck you just said, <laughs> man, but now I'm getting ready to run this goddamn show. <laughs> blue Mac, uh, this is my brand of, of, of weed here, Kim. And it's Instagram, Zootown.LA. Instagram at Zootown.Boston. Oh, this is, this is the Blue Mac. This is my own weed strand. I get nifty increments off it. They also get nifty increments off it. Myself, I, I looked in five it. China Mac looked in five it. We know it's legit. No snake shit. No scam shit. Shout out to Puerto Ricans and the Dominicans. Yes. Shout out to the Puerto Ricans. Get your the ass over here. Dominicans. Come here. Hey, I just had a great idea. That's not a great idea. Oh. Show your fucking weed. This is him. There's no scam. You just, you're just going to get up and let him sit down? <laughs> okay, you guys are all in front of the camera. They're all in front of the camera real quick. Okay. Blue Mac, you tried it. It's I will smoke it. Yeah, we're going to roll this road up you, you realize that this is kind of all about the microphone, right? Okay. Yeah. And you, mic, you're you're kind of standing in front of Can you, like, stand behind hey, him? Hey, nobody can't say I don't let motherfuckers get their shine. Hey, you owe me a nifty nickel, huh? Gingerbread man. Wow, okay. This is going right in the spliffs. Buzzed Bunny. Even Remo's getting high. Don't, yeah, don't tell your buddies at the station. <laughs> Y'all yeah, can follow us on Zootown yeah, We Boston. gotta kill that police shit. <laughs> They're running with it, bro. NFT 850? You're a big NFT fan? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. Crip, man, where are you going? Shit. Come on, man. We gotta... Puerto Ricans and Dominicans. <laughs> yeah. No, but thank you so much. This, this is yeah. some amazing packaging as well. The colors are intense, vibrant. I don't like those colors. Only that color. Bro, so you're really hanging out with people from Boston. This is crazy. This is yeah. big. The Puerto Rican and Dominicans. You from your side? Fuck around with us. I can say some shit real quick. Your, your name definitely, or your voice definitely sounds like a guy from Boston. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah what do you yeah. want to say? Yeah, fucking, fucking Boston. We're trying to put on for the city, for y'all. You know, tapping in with Adam, Crip Mac. We're from the west to the east. We're trying to make this money go. Are you going to pay me my nifty nickel? No, of course, yo. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to tell him he's trying to put me on. He got to get like 30 niggas to be I've been working out, hood. Yes, I've been working out like a motherfucker. You look great. We appreciate you, my dog. Would you say this is wicked good weed? Bro, wicked good weed. Stupid good weed. We both say wicked. We both say wicked. Let the record reflect. Oh, and we got a hat. Put that shit on now, Adam. We're buddy waddies. We're buddy waddies. Fuck it. We're buddy waddies. Wherever we go, we're buddy waddies. You ain't lying. I got to make it bigger for my gigantic head. <laughs> yeah. Where's the weed? Let's light it. And you, I, I noticed yeah. this hat is crit blue. Where, where's the shit you had rolled up? It's just all good 
at blue some, Mac. At some point today, I got some sort of like white that blue splatter light that around. Oh, yeah. we got it. What is this? How did this happen? <laughs> I heard it. This is no. definitely not like cum or pee. Yeah, that's or, all about that. You just did plug talk. That's what I'm saying. I just did plug talk, but I had my shirt off for the sex part. So that's oh. definitely, I don't know. Maybe it's just, it looks like somebody put like toothpaste on the br- on the brush and went and like whipped it. Out. Like Gookie G with toothpaste? That sort of thing. You know what's good? What's up, blunt guy? Hey, no, it's, this is my this is my weed. I know, but it's you've just been smoking more often. Two than pods in a row with a blunt. Every blue moon. You know, um, at night sometimes you sleep better, but in the day sometimes you smoke a little weed. You know, keep you keep you going a little sometimes. You know, uh, China Mac he'll smoke a little weed. And you know how he is. He three days grab. on, three days off. Yeah, and he'll, he'll eat a lot of good snacks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm on diet, so I'm, I'm not going to play with that. <laughs> I like that you got a droopy blunt right now. That thing got so much cushion in it that it's kind of... Mm-hmm. Did you see... Uh, I think I seen you talk about the Ann Glizzy situation where he said uh, he joined the Crips. He a virtual Crip Virtual now? Clip, Crip. How did he join? Did he get put on? Did he get jumped in? He said he the first virtual Crip. He put How himself on. Yeah. Let this motherfucker out. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Is there such thing as a virtual <laughs> Crip? Crip? <laughs> Oh, fuck. Maybe you shouldn't smoke. I don't know. No, you know when it's strong like that. You don't like have that. to match. <laughs> oh, you shit. You broke the fucking <laughs> Hold on. We're going to have to get some more. It's not a cigarette. You don't have to just like match I was it. trying to smash it in, but look, look. All the weed fell it's out. It's all right. Way. It's all right. Just leave it. I've never in my life. You are such a unique person, and I'm so fascinated by you, but you just blew my fucking mind. I've never seen someone do that. I was trying to put it like I know what you were trying to do. You were trying to put out the blunt. It doesn't work that way. It's got a big, heavy-ass cherry on it. Uh, Let me see that that, 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 that Christmas candy shit. (laughs) Which one? I'm going to have a Bluetooth assist come by tonight and bust her coochie and asshole. Look at this. So much work uh, went into rolling this. I could definitely give her this. Oh, yeah, tear that ass up, that coochie, tear that motherfucker up. Some good weed. I got the bottle uh, on her, uh, Crip and Amigos, already at the house. What does it say above the 5.5 five on your back of your head? 55th Street. Oh, 5.5 five five ST, Street. okay. Straight. So you get that done every time you get your hair done? I keep it like that. Mm. In jail, I had somebody use the razor, and they cut it, and I pay them, and they put all the shit in my head. All I have to do to make this episode viral is put Crip Mac on Israel versus Palestine in the title. We're lit. Uh, Nobody's going to not click on that. Yeah, definitely. I don't even know what the fuck that, what you was talking about. Basically, it's in the Middle East. There's a war. You, you need to make sure. I, I, need, I, need, I, need, I don't want nobody to just try to find me with rocket launchers. Cal. Yeah, they bomb each other. Oh, yes. Like crazy. <laughs> Serious shit going on. Oh. White phosphorus. Oh. Damn. It's dangerous shit. Yeah. <laughs> if I show it some dangerous motherfucking shit. But, but okay, Aunt Glizzy. Is mm. claiming that he is a crip now. He made himself a crip. And this is all coming on the back of him having problems with Brick Baby. So I think he's trying to challenge he's Brick Baby's try, cripping. He's trying to get clout. That's all he's doing, man. He's getting, trying to get clout. Mm. That's it. Right. Motherfucker can't, you know, when, when, when you work hard, Adam, like yourself, work hard. I, you know, I've, been, I've been working hard. I have, I have a little nifty nickel increments now, Adam. How much you got there? Mm. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. And I got more to come. I got more to come. I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a weed strand now with the guys. A little with birdie. Zoo Town. I got a fucking weed strand. Zoo Town. I then like I it. Then I got Mac Ventures that nifty. Got my own shit going. I just. I, I, I'm starting to make it in life. I heard you came into a five figure sum of money. A what? Ten. Well, really, any amount of money to you is a five figure amount of money. But uh, I heard you came into an amount of money that was like ten, twenty thousand dollars, something like that. Five digits. Twenty thousand. How'd you get it? I mean, can that, that's, that's, you, you, you work off of YouTube and shit. Well, can you be more specific? You work, man. Like, from Mac. YouTube? Yeah. How'd you get it? What do you mean, how I got it? Like, all at once? Or uh, you said the big man upstairs was, was keeping you from getting your funds <laughs> the or something. Big, the big man upstairs. I got my own. That's dude. God. The big, the big man the big, upstairs the, is the, God. The, the big man upstairs, Mr. Lovejoy's boy. Right. <laughs> You're a crazy motherfucker. No, I just I want to take a picture of you, but I want to make sure that the tacos are showing because. <laughs> I'm telling you, we need to make that happen with Lupe and those tacos. We don't have to put your wife in it. I, I hope but that people we can see this and realize what happened to this blunt. Because that was a fucking tragedy. Real weed smokers saw that and were like, fuck. Yeah, I wanted to hit it. That's a $20 bun. Hey, 
Everything's going to see all right. Except that blunt. That blunt is fucked. I mean, you could probably re-rock it if you really wanted I to. I could. But you notice how weird the weed starts looking when you even hit it a couple times? It starts to turn all black and shit in there. That was actually some pretty good stuff, though. It's, uh, well, yeah. The Blue Mac. It's real nifty. Yeah, your eyes are motherfucker. Nifty on the hat. And you know, I may show the guys I work with here, they're not scammers or anything. The zoo town people. So they're not going to put crack or any type of drugs in your, in, your, in, in, in your fucking weed strand. Does anyone do that? Does anyone put crack in the weed? He said yes. I heard about I'll the fent, but it seems like kind crack, of a bad idea. Crack and weed cut is older people. Oh, yeah, yeah, They love that shit. Like 40, 50. Mama Duck told me she used to be smoking, 60, what do they call them? Pea somethings? Pea nuts? What? P, I forget. But Mama Duck said she used to do that. Is and an o- Lush she, used to do is that. Is she an OG? Mama Duck. She's definitely an OG. You know, FBG Duck. I've heard the name. Yeah, it's a his, lady. Chicago lady. No, <laughs> she's a uh, rapper. His mom is Chicago. A lady. His mom. Oh, Rest in peace. Mama Duck. Scoot, mom. scoot this a little so the mic's a little bit more. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I've seen some videos. What, what's the title of that? Oh, yeah, she's a legend. She's amazing. Yeah. She's, she's, her voice is like she, she smokes was on 10 packs you. a day. There's something about the fact that she can talk about her son's street exploits so casually that was yeah. kind of mind-blowing to me. Like, there was a rumor about one of her sons, like, telling somebody to go kill, uh, who, Rigo Reckless? And she was basically like, nah, because he would have done it himself. And that was just like, whoa. Like, I've never heard a mom say that kind of thing about her son before. Now he's he's gone, so it's not like a snitching. But yeah, most moms wouldn't really go there. No, I don't think they would. It's like not something you want to think about as your son blowing shit down. But I guess you know, over the years, she got a little jaded to it. Yeah. Would you sit down with Mama Duck? Yeah, I, I have an interview with her. Mm. Yeah, we don't have no problems, huh? Yo, so I seen mm. a clip of Snoopy Badass claiming that. Three children. I think he had three chick. I mean, three children with Tania. With Tania. Yeah. But he said that he recently just found out that those are actually not his kids. <laughs> Did you hear about that? I don't pay them people no mind. So he said that oh. Crip Mac can't no longer say that you fucked his baby mama. They say what? That you <laughs> fucked his baby mama. He said you can't say. Oh that no, mama. that's that's not cool. See him there. Did you have sex with her? I did. There was a lot of speculation that maybe this was all for clout. No, I was having sex with her. So when she said made that song in love with a husta, was she really in love with a husta at the moment? That, that, that custer sits every night. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Like, okay, it's one thing. Her whole I, thing, what that <laughs> bullshit she was doing, cuz you just think motherfuckers supposed to just do everything for you, cuz because you so beautiful, you ain't gotta do shit. Ain't no sitch pussy made of gold. Don't fight, fight, crip. You're gonna meet me halfway and get the fuck away from me. She do look pretty good. Yeah. You know. When you say meet you I'm halfway, honest. what was she doing? No, you go, you go, you go, you gonna make increments match. Understand? You going through your shit because yeah. you went croak uh, <laughs> on five five crib. You know, and I had a heart to help you kill. At the same time, you need to, you need to make shit happy, kill right, right here. How this is going? Cause you gonna meet me half or something, motherfucker. Who did you love more, Tania or Lily Cakes? Snoo the fuck is the other? Fishy cakes. Yeah, you Fishy called cakes. her that before. Who did you fuck with more? I mean, cause it's just both like they they both snakes. It's Mickey Tricky. Mm. Okay, but picture this. This is what I kind of don't understand about Snoopy Badass. It's one thing for a girl to trip to trick you into taking care of a kid that's not yours. It's another thing for her to trick you into taking care of three kids that aren't yours. Like that is kind of mind blowing. How the fuck could she possibly like him admitting that? Like I believe him, but also like that's insane. How is that even possible? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> How like, can could, Snoopy be tricked into thinking that all three of those kids was his and then they're not? He found out. Like, well, damn, like the first one you kind of... Why didn't Cut go get the nature? My kid looks so much like me that whenever people have, like, you know, joked around about, like, do you know the kid's yours? I'm like, oh, my God, that would be so funny. Like, how could a girl ever pass that off? Yep, yep. But imagine three kids that aren't yours... I mean, the kids probably all look different, right? It's probably not just like one dad. Well, he he made um, a mistake. He thought they was his kids. They weren't cut kids. Right. Do you fuck with Snoopy Badass? Though? He's kind of like the, the rebel alliance of L.A. Uh, right now. Yeah, I don't fuck with people like that, cuz. Really? 
Yeah. Are you going to get a DNA test for your baby? Oh, that's that's five a tour. That's five show going to happen. I feel like your baby, I could probably eyeball it being your baby upon birth. Yeah, because how, 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 how the girl is that's having the baby is. You have very distinct facial features. What? Like, you just, your face stands out a lot, you know? Because you're like Samoan and shit, right? Samoan and collision. There we go. Yeah. Butt lesion. Cause I said what I said. <laughs> But I'm just saying, like, yeah, a that's a unique fuck, blend. A fucking Samoans look like me, though. I know you met some. But that's why you love Blasian dolls, because you're kind of a Blasian doll yourself, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> fucking I, Blasian uh, doll. My thumb just touched his armpit. A Blasian doll, motherfucker. Oh, God. It just smells like fucking You could have said a, a Blasian boy. It's supposed to say a Blasian doll. I'm not a sitch doll. God damn. Now we're two fades in. And I got a stinky thumb. My fucking thumb just went in your whole armpit. I feel like I just got molested. This motherfucker. <laughs> God damn. I'm literally going to go wash my thumb. A clay. Not the no. rest of my fingers, but my thumb. Oh, man. I can't wait to see what angle the cameraman chose for that. That was, that was intense. I got a stinky thumb. Oh. God damn it. Remo, ask him something. So what's up with your kick deal with Aiden Ross? I seen you call him out too. Oh man, it hadn't happened yet. It hadn't happened. So I've been working out every day. I could put take Adam out that goddamn chair, but that's my boy. You know, but we had to we had to take care of that real quick. That, that was that was out of control. Yeah. Well, well uh, how big the dumbbells are now? Oh, them sixty pound you know, dumbbells. Sixty. Yeah. They real nifty. Oh. Yeah. You still getting it in every morning? Every morning. Every morning. I'm doing the studio tonight with my boy uh, at DJ Flip Studio. We got something real big that's going on. But I'm still going to get that program time five in hood about seven, eight in the morning. Yeah. So yeah. The, re the reason you've been working out and shit, because I seen on uh, Well, yeah. Let, Cam yeah Capone, the reason you said I'm, that you I'm staying on it, Ken. You never know what different situations, when you're going to go back and fifth five jail. So you got to stay Prepare, you Disaster know, because uh, a fucking, uh, a fucking protective normal. custody type shit is is that's out. Cause that would never happen. Yeah, but you said that uh, you think you're about to get locked back up. You said that on camera. It's, yeah, I'm I, I, I thinking cut. If, if so, cuss only 55 days though. Yeah, you fight me. Uh, cause I already, I, you fight me, something like that. It ain't, it ain't long though. Come on, look, if if it do happen now. All right, so realistic. You fight me. I've been a good boy. Yeah, I've right. been staying away from Johnny's. So I think uh, on, on her, I have, I have a chance. Cause you fight me. I'm and, not going. And, and Macy. <laughs> oh, and also me and China Mac would not seen a. Oh, uh, uh, fuck. Lawyer. So, no, not cut, not cut, not cut. Oh. Uh, Oh, what's cut that know your future? Cut. Oh, a psychic. A sitch, yeah, though. Yeah, she was a, a psychic sitch. reading. I a psych sitch lady. Yeah. And she said, um, she she was reading everything about the little shit. And she's like, she's like, I don't see much jail in your future. And this lady, these they, they people know what they're talking about, though, come huh? And she also said, I see you owning and buying homes. So I'm like, oh, yeah, trying to make that Mac Ventures just it's taking off, buddy, buddy. You made enough of Mac Ventures to buy a house? <laughs> Not yet, but it's coming. Yeah. I, I, it's nifty I made, increments. I made, I made a, a nice nifty nickel. You find me? Oh, uh, I I made a nice nifty nickel, and I collect a nifty nickel. And I was able to show you some some nifty increments. I feel like, oh, Crip Max Croak, you don't have no increments. Uh, I've never seen you with that much money before, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's I for got sure. I got some nifty increments, you know, and I'm doing a lot of nifty things. Normally you have, like, a bunch of, like, older dudes and stuff, like, with you, too. And now you Most, just have these huh? weed guys. Oh, you talking about a couple, a couple of my homeboys and shit? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I got this, this, uh, the, the weed strand going now. Right. So we, we taking care of everything. It's, it's all legit. It's all fair citizens. That's why I let you know on five, five, five. These motherfuckers ain't gonna scam no fucking body. No, no, I'm sure they would never. I but, don't fuck around or I don't hang out with snakes, cuz. Okay, I respect that. So. Kai Sanat, you know who that is? No, no, no. Snow the fuck that is. It's a, he's like the most popular Twitch streamer, arguably. Young, he's a Twitch what? Twitch streamer. 
Uh, you like a black Aiden yeah. Ross. Young black oh. dude doing his thing. That's all, it's cut, it's cut. Funny, Neon's funny. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Shut it's up, pretty Neon. funny. That motherfucker. <laughs> yes, motherfucker. But Neon called you the C word. I grabbed him. Yes. I grabbed him worse than I grabbed you. You see his face? He said, Oh, that's crazy. Because <laughs> the way my thumb just you smelled, that shit if I was Neon and my whole neck smelled like that, I might have to go home and hose myself off. <laughs> anyway, so Kaisenat's right. doing like a, a week long. I took a nifty nickel uh, snubble bath. Right. Definitely got to do that. Um, I did already. But okay. Kaisenat is doing a jail stream for a week straight. Uh, so it's it's this is a picture. Of, you want me to play a character in there? I'm just saying, like I you not that. being there seems kind of criminal. <laughs> Let's make it happen. You got girl. the most experience. You're the most influential. You're basically the king of L.A., right? I would never say that. <laughs> I just I'm see just the infant low general from 55th Street. But you'll notice what color they're all wearing. With I the, mean, that's chill. Right. Criminals wear the color orange. So you gotta you, you gotta rock orange when you're in there. Yeah, I, I mean, I, when when you when you're going through um on hood prison through reception all that shit you wear that. Do you take it off as soon as possible? I mean, cause that's all we got. We wearing. Oh, okay. You know, but I, I got all the tats on my face and everything, cause oh motherfucker don't never mistake me ever. But, but does it hurt you in your soul to wear orange even if for a limited period of time? Ah. Uh, cause on the outside you would never, right? No, that's not that's not my thing. It's not my thing. Right. You know, I I could dab with a little black, you know, some some white clothes. Mm. Sometimes maybe a, a slight little gray clothes here and there with a blue rag. You know, you see me on uh, on a podcast. I had the gray issue with the blue rag. Yeah. What pod? Yours. You were rocking gray. Okay. Yeah, I had gray in it. Yeah, it was gray. <sighs> you remember, don't you, Remo? It was, it was gray like Nike suit. I had it with the white shoes. I had a blue rag with it. One day I want to see you dressed in all Gucci. I could make it happen. Yeah, I mean, right now it's probably not a great idea financially, but at some point, how much I that's gonna cost? It. Tell me right now. Shit, sometimes I'll shock the fucking world. Like if we're gonna get you like a track I'll suit, I'll shock the world, motherfucker. For a track suit, it might be like three, four thousand. Some shoes, about another thousand. So roughly five bands. Probably about fifty-five hundred. Oh, that's a nifty price. I could definitely do it. And when I do it, Adam, I'm going to show you. I want to go. I want to be there. Oh, let's make it happen. I, I warned him because he went to your hood with you. Yeah. And I told him, do whatever you want to do. But Remo, I'm not trying to lose you. Him and he. Oh, it's, it's dangerous as fuck over there. I'm not going to lie to For anybody. you specifically, yeah. Five, a lot of different people. It's just not the way you want to hang out. That's what you I'm saying. know King Five Fingers, so you can go over there. You know ODM Slim. But I would, know, so I would like to go to Rodeo Drive with you. I wouldn't feel any kind of weird pressure yeah, there. Yeah, go 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 shopping and get some 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 clothes. If they have any Gucci clothes that got a little crip blue in them, somehow. Well, they, they always got some blue. Yeah. They got crip blue. Some. Yeah, yeah you find you some. But sometimes, honestly, it's like a winter thing too. Because I went in the Gucci store a couple weeks ago, and it was like all blue shit. I love that it's winter right now. I'm I'm, I'm gonna warm up a lot of fans' stitches and bust their coochies and assholes. We're making sure they each get a babysitter. That's a good point. It's cuffing they season. A, I'm not cuffing wait, 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 shit. Wait. I'm fucking. Wait, but do you shave your armpits? No, nah, I never grow them. No hair under. What the Ever fuck? Life? Never. No wonder that shit felt so lubed up when my thumb went in. <laughs> <laughs> shit felt no, like no, water I, country, no, bro. No, there's really no hair under my armpits. What the fuck? That's crazy. That's probably genetics, though. You don't have hairy legs or arms either? No. Oh, my God. It's genetics. But I have a little hair on my face. But Can I have grow these tattoos beard? on the side. It probably would, this probably would grow, but it don't. Honestly, would you consider getting on steroids? Because it would be so fucking funny if you were just walking around looking like. No, I wouldn't get on steroids. I wouldn't recommend you do it either because it's gonna fuck your balls up afterwards, and you're not. I don't need that to happen. You're not gonna be able to produce sperm on your own. Yeah. You're gonna need to keep taking the juice. Yeah, definitely need to tear up some citrus coochies and assholes. I don't need to take steroids. Right. You called out DJ Envy the other day. Oh, DJ Envy. He's scamming people. How'd that even get on your radar? I mean, well, when you scam people, it's not It's not right. You know, you got to look at things like this. These people, they work hard, yeah, by their increments, you know? Uh -huh. Everybody can't just do music or sit at a podcast like myself and, and, and everybody else could make increments. You find me? Some people work normal jobs. So now you're scamming these people out of their hard earned money. It's just wrong. Yeah. It's not fair. It's wrong as a motherfucker, you know. So you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't scam nobody. I don't scam no fucking body. Right. Well, it was no. really this fat fuck that he got into business with Caesar, I believe. I'm not. I'm not really sure. You called him Penis Face. <laughs> oh, Mr. Pena. 
penis face. Yeah, penis. Uh, he, he's scamming fuckers also, huh? Well, he he seems like he's really more of the scammer. I think he's more at fault than DJ Envy. You know, uh, I think DJ Envy was just getting paid to film some right Instagram to, videos. Not right to scam no fucking buddy. Right. You know. Have you never scammed him before? No, I never have. And I'm I'm, I'm telling you, I'm gonna keep it Fifty Fifth Street. I I've, I've had late work with uh, features like 55 hours, which is a couple days that I was doing something else. And I never scammed nobody. Everybody get their shit on Fly Fly Crip. Right. And everybody getting scammed. You can ask China Mac. Okay. He don't scam motherfuckers either. That's like the, the oldest scam in the world. It's China like, Mac's my buddy, Wuddy. Ever since I my got- My buddy, Wuddy. I my like that. My buddy, Wuddy. Have you heard the buddy, Wuddy song? I have not. Uh-huh. Ever since I got in the game and started to have clout, I started realizing that there were people around me, not like super close to me, like not like no jumper employees, but like people yeah. who would hang out at the store and shit, and I would slowly start realizing like, oh, they're scamming. They're taking money from fans. I just got my hair cut. This guy. <laughs> See? It's fresh, isn't it? No, it's great. The Samoan man, elusive cuts. Will you get it done once a week? No, I get my hair cut uh, a couple times, two times a week. Two times? Yeah, because I'm, I'm on camera all the time. Yeah. We're doing Mac Ventures. We're doing music. We're doing interview. I get my hair cut like every three weeks, maybe two yeah, weeks. You like to let it grow. Yeah, I want to keep I, mine fresh. I got white people hair, you know. Put the shit all in it. We right. was filming a Mac Ventures, and uh, the white dude that we gave a haircut to, he dropped the M-bomb. Remember that? Yeah, he did. And um, I let him know, you know, my um, granny bear side of the family, they, uh, you know. They don't they, like that? Don't, no, they don't like that. Well, what, the other side of your family's down for white people saying N-word? I mean, my, my, my father, he did, my real father, he never, say, he never says nothing. Like, you know, he, he admires his own sisters. But I feel like you're not around a lot of white people in your day-to-day life as a youngin', right? Well, you know how you look at it? Uh, that man probably was from down south or something like that. And uh, sometimes they have a little racial shit going on. It's like that still, like 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 uh, the movie Life. Remember Life with Eddie Murphy? Well, there's still plenty of racist shit, racist shit out here too, right? I don't see it. <laughs> yeah, not probably as much. You see a lot of like blatant overt racism growing up down south. Yeah, 100. percent Yeah, down mm-hmm. south, huh? I got called N word for the first time when I moved down south. You're from Mississippi. <laughs> Yeah, when I moved down there. Uh, all right, in Mississippi was the movie Life. Remember yeah. Life, the movie Life. You ain't your cone, Brad. No. You didn't see it. I don't think so. So basically, Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence, they were uh, boot uh, bootleggers, like selling alcohol and shit. Uh, they made a trip down south to like sell some alcohol and shit, and they got booked in Mississippi. I'm not gonna they lie. They got snake. They got scammed by something they didn't do. The first couple they times. Got life. The first couple <laughs> times I heard people say <laughs> the N word, like in a negative derogatory way was definitely oh, as soon as I started going down south. I went to I got a car accident in North Carolina, guy gave us a ride. Used the N-word in the course of dropping us off at a hotel. Did he really? Oh yeah. He said he goes, I would drop you off at this one hotel over here, but there's a bunch of eh over there. So I'm gonna drop you off at this other one. Uh, old man said that <laughs> he wasn't that old. Me and my buddy just look at each other like, whoa. Where you was at? I never in North Carolina. I had never heard someone say it like that in real life before. I'm like, I guess we're really down south. North Carolina, not even that far down south. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. We were getting. It, some- it, it offends older people mostly than, than younger people, but some people get offended younger also with that word. The word, I mean, it offends me a little, but not as much. It you really got offended because you were about to beat him up. I was angry. <laughs> I was just letting them know, hey, you know, uh, Mama Bear side, uh, the Creole side, they, um, on hood, they, you know, they don't like that. Yeah, but you still fed them. Yeah, we gave Cud a chance. We weren't going to leave Cud out there because I, I realized what he probably was going through, you know. He was probably going through some rough shit. Yeah, he looked like he was, he was living through hell. You didn't see the man. I mean, if you're homeless, the N-word probably not your biggest concern. Or like white people saying it, not the oh. biggest concern, yeah. right? You're worried about finding a home. Yeah, somewhere to go. Yeah, that's what they. That's what. He, yeah, Some we of gave, that good fent. We gave them the increments. Hopefully, they got their room. We just gave them the increment. Shout out Pax. Shout out Pax. Oh yeah, Pax, and we did some uh, weed over there with them. Right. Yeah. So, um, you made headlines because you were modeling for Desto Dubs. Oh, that's, you, like, you like that jacket, Kel? You look great. That, yeah. I got that jacket at my house, Kel. That was a cool jacket. But what was it like? Actually walking down the runway. It was you? cool. She, I just had got another nifty cut. <laughs> well, you do it twice a week, yeah. I mean, well, just different events and different stuff. Yeah. You got to, you know, you got to make sure it's just presentable. But how did it feel walking down there? Did, were you nervous? A lot of people would be nervous. No, I'm not stage fright. Okay. No. 
on the stage where I see all the beautiful women in the crowd. I'm like, ooh, tear that coochie and asshole up! You see yourself doing more modeling gigs in the future? Oh, God, I mean, yeah, it, was, it brings another opportunity. Shout out Desto Dub. Cause. I mean, that, Desto Dub's a hood trophy these days. Yeah, we we got to support and I uplift fuck, Desto Dub. I fuck with Cuh, Cuh. Cuh is a good guy. Yeah, he yeah. We got to support him. Yeah. Because he's not going to become the Virgil of South Central unless South Central gets behind him. Now, it is amazing the level of support he gets. But we yeah. got we got to all stay behind up. Yeah, shout out Desto Dub. Yeah, my kid always talks about him. She goes, "You have no hair like Dub." <laughs> he does have some hair, but she can't really tell the difference, I guess. Yeah, shout out Parker Mac. Uh, Parker Mac. She's out of the limelight now. We're not posting her anymore. Oh yeah, I, I seen you kept on her putting on her, the scribbles on the face. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, well, something happened. Yeah, I just don't want her to have to deal with the consequences of our crazy lifestyle, you know. Yeah, on her. Try to avoid that a little bit. Yeah, that, that's smart, you know. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Okay. What else do we have on this here list? How did you and uh, Andrew link back up recently? Oh man, that's a great man, Andrew. Or did y'all link back up? Because I didn't watch the full video, but I seen no, like we, old footage. We have. Uh, that's that footage there. We, they just did the whole um, interview. Cutter, he got damn near like eight hundred thousand within a day. I said, God damn, the world was waiting on that because it, it, you know, shows from my upbringing that Mama Bear. She's actually saying it, so it's not all swamp story shit. It's actually the whole thing with the story. So she putting everything together, and she, <laughs> Mama Bear, she just she keep she keeping it real. She like, oh, you know. And going in and out of the school. Do you still pissed off at Swamp Stories? No, no, I'm not mad, Cuz. But do you hate that when people search your name, they probably find that video a lot? I mean, they, they, they can find it, Cuz. I'm, 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 I'm a real gangbanger from 55th Street. Right. Boosie said he's going to sue Swamp Stories. He doesn't like them. Well, they made a video. The, the title basically says that Boosie was rap's first serial killer. Hmm? Well, he allegedly ordered a bunch of murders back in the day, and uh, oh. he beat he beat the charge. Oh, and Swamp Stories say that? Swamp Stories kind of exaggerated that a little bit. Have you ever did an interview with Swamp Story? No, I've talked to him all the time, but I still don't know who he is. You you tell Cud, come in and get an interview. Yeah, you're probably going to pack him out, huh? No, 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 fair interview. Like, we do fair fags, we do fair interviews. Right. Shout out Swamp Stories. If I'm sitting you down across from Swamp Stories, we're going to have to have a couple of security guards behind him the whole time. Yeah, because I feel like a funny guy, kind of like Jim Carrey. Let's get an interview with Jim Carrey. I love his comedy. Oh, that would be great. Can you set that up? Can we me? Yeah, you I know. Can do it. <laughs> no. Oh shit! But we could ask Laura. Hello, Laura. I mean, she's. <laughs> um, okay. Anything else uh, jump to mind? Oh Lord, he's chugging oh. it. It's dripping down his face. Pause. Oh yeah. Oh. 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 You got a ban- uh, handkerchief right there. You could have just. Nah, you don't do that with your blue rag. No. <laughs> Hell no. You can't a, use it for that's that? That's a serious DP. That's a beating. So if you have to sneeze and you use your rag. Hell no. Wow, I never thought about that till now. No. That makes sense. Hell no. We take this with pride and joy. Wow. What if you carried around like a different rag in case you had to sneeze? Like a what? <laughs> nah, like, you know. Okay, let's not let's get, dig into that. Yeah, Yeah, let's not get into that type of shit you talk. Okay. Um. All right. So uh, anything else that you want to get off your chest? I mean, shit. No, just let people know, cuz. Just, um. Uh, you know, just uh, just watch everything in the streets. Stack your increments. Help the people. Don't stern down face. And don't do no custer shit like Adam having a woman eat your ass. That's not custer shit. That's definitely custer shit. That's Is custer, that custer shit, Remo? I never have my ass ate. I never will either. <laughs> never. No. I hope that I'm by a man. The, I'm I a crip. I hope I'm by the man, time you're uh, 40. I am a crip. I'm a man. I, it doesn't make me any less of a man that I got my ass eaten by Selena Powell. It's just not. It's not. It's not. It's not. A, it's not a good look that you're a great man doing great shit on the podcast. It might now. not be beautiful, but it's something. It's nothing. People are out here subscribing to the Plug Talk OnlyFans to see that content. Which, by the way, onlyplugtalk.com. <laughs> God damn, God. that's crazy, Adam. I'm gonna find you a good butt eater. I ain't fucking with no sits doing that. But well, you better take a shower. No, nah, I'm not fucking with no sits doing nothing like that. Really? No, I'm a man. You're a man. I'm a man, Adam, but I'm a, I'm a hoodster. A million I'm a, dollars. I'm a hoodster. 
on Fi Fi Crip. Never. I got a million never. dollars on the table never. and Selena Powell in the corner. No. She never. wants to eat your butt. Never. Never. What? On Fi Fi Crip. Never. A million dollars. A million. Fuck that million dollars. Never, Adam. That's never. a lot of old English and fucking blunt fuck. raps. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Never. Oh. Never. Never in motherfucking life. Two million. Nothing, cuz. 55 million. million. Nothing. That was good. <laughs> Nothing at all. On Fight Fight Crip. God damn. Don't get down like that. Well, at a certain point, I don't even I know. I am a name. hoodster. A 55th Street hoodster at that. If you're a Crip and you've gotten your ass eaten, drop a comment down below so that we can get some uh, contrarian voices in the chat. They need a put off. <laughs> 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 you talked to Tony Wilrich? No, I ain't talk with Cuz. Okay. Hopefully he didn't go on Hoover Street. We told him not to go over there because they'll kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they were hurt him. They he dropped his flag. They just gave up gangbanging? I mean, I kind of question how much gangbanging he was really doing in the first place. Right. Yeah, you know, he got he, he got his fame. He said, hey. He said, he said fuck it. I got my fame. He got on. I'm pretty sure he's just like a regular gay guy with a funny sense of humor. And he kind of <laughs> did the whole crip thing. Hey, that, that, that episode was legendary with me, you, uh, Brick Baby, uh, Sharp. I wasn't there. Sharp Sharp, was there. Oh, you were here. Yeah, Sharp's facial expressions was crazy. Did you get a lot of backlash for doing that interview? I mean, cause a lot of people say there's just different crips like, oh, cut, gay, cut, this and that. Like, oh, crip, man, weird, this and that, right? But then the homies, the homies in, 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 in the set, like, you can't judge gay people. This is how these people... From this hood is, is most of them are. So it's just putting these motherfuckers out there and we kept it respect by it. We didn't choke him. We didn't try to beat him. We even gave Kel a motherfucking sandwich in the old English Kel. We treated Kel with respect. No, you gave you him a, me? a Subway Kel sandwich. Came. That's why I said a Subway sandwich. You gave him a five dollar foot long. Pause. That sound gay as a motherfucker. <laughs> well we're not we're not what five each is on Kel, but we're not talking about all that type shit. You fight me? Right, but you're saying that the OGs of of LA are open minded about Tony? No, they just like uh, like pretty much saying you, all right, you're not supposed to well, judge people that are of, of that. You see what I'm saying? He came, he did the podcast. He, he he didn't have nobody hitting outside or nothing like that. No weird shit going on. He just he just was normal. You thought he would have had a gay dude hanging out in the bushes to jump out and tickle you or something? I strangle cool. <laughs> <laughs> to do what? You're not into getting I, tickled? I, uh, not by no fucking man. You ever let your girl tickle you? I've had a big booty sit. She tickle my feet sometimes. Ooh, give me a and belly I, tickle. No, no, she tickle my feet. It's, it's kind of funny. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I've had, I've had a lot of big booty sits. As a matter of fact, I need to get on my phone and see which big booty sit wants to get a babysitter and come out tonight. Yeah, what lucky I'm lady gonna, is going to come? What lucky lady's getting her coochie, you pay, asshole. You pay for the babysitter? No, cuz they pay for the babysitter. We make sure wherever we at, cuz, that she get there and home safe. Yeah. You fight me? Cuz I'm a nifty nickel. I don't want her to get stranded. I don't want her to end up on another street getting shot at somewhere, going somewhere. You know, I'm make sure, all right, you coming. We got the crippin' amigos. You fight me? On Hustlers is a nice nifty meal. Whatever you like. So, how do you on, how do you vet your uh, fan stitches that you bring over? You, don't scare, you ain't scared that somebody try to backdoor you? Like nah. having a random chick just come they know, not, your location. Some, some, they, all of them is not random, cuz, cuz they people is is, is gangbangers from neighborhood cripples that my hood fuck with. Really? You get what I'm saying? So you only fuck people you're on good terms with. Well, pretty much, I ask where they people from and all that shit. You uh, mean? But they could lie. What would they lie? It's like a backdoor situation. That ain't never happened. If it gets Mickey and Tricky like that, it's gonna get Mickey and Tricky. I just think you should really be on alert because we don't yeah, know what these bitches right. going to do. Yeah, sometimes cause I just go find a, a nice little room. I know some rooms cause I fuck with them. That's, well, that's where you, you got do. arrested last time, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to fire go in, out rooms cause when you're supposed to fire on, on her, see at home on that type of stuff. As you were going around to different rooms and that's why the cops came? No, pretty much cause I was in the, I, I was in the, I was in the room, kid, and uh, they just came. Well, I heard you were being loud and crazy and shit. Yeah, just seeing myself. Yeah. Yeah. You got to keep it low. Stay away from the yeah, cops. I make sure, you know, on here with the sitches I meet, I make sure they're not Mickey and Tricky. Yeah. You know, and I and I, and I, and I, I show them, I show them a real nifty time. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, make sure you don't let them lick your asshole. They would never do that. Good. They would never try. Good. This is reverse no, psychology. Five real. Good. I'm, they I'm would glad. They try. I'm glad. Yeah, they're going to eat yours. You're not having second thoughts? They're going to eat yours. It didn't work. 
<laughs> yeah, no, all the bud eaters for sure. It's happened with me. They're gonna eat Adam's um, ass. That's what they're gonna do. <laughs> do you think the people out there should like, comment, and subscribe? Yeah, they 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 should. Kyle. I agree. Yeah. Hell yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> okay. Another Amazing. epic fucking interview. It's pretty epic. Yeah. I got your bo on my arm on my thumb. I took a nifty shower. <laughs> So it could have been worse. <laughs> All right, Remo, appreciate yeah, you. Hope we didn't leave anything too important on the floor. What you got to tell the people, Crib Mac, before we get up out of here? On the floor. What's your message to the youth? No. Oh, the youth, cuh? Well, you never get your ass eaten by a <laughs> never woman. Never commit suicide. <laughs> and never commit suicide. Never get your ass, ass eaten. <laughs> yeah. That, you know, if you're a little boy or a grown man, don't ever do that, youth. And also, let's let the youth know, stay in school. Get great grades. A is something active, and C is something cracking. On here, just <laughs> take care of business. I like that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you can make it in life. You can make it. On who? For sure. There it yeah. is. Thank you, Remo. For sure. It's Remo. First time sitting down with Crib Mac. Me and Crib Mac hang out a lot, boy. This is the first time. We yeah, we it. hang out. We do Mac Ventures sometimes. What do you guys do together? Uh, he, he 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 does Mac Ventures with us. Like he helps. I'm the producer. Stuff. What about when you're just chilling? What's that like? Are you only me on and Remo? We we don't really, we have children. We chill at work. At work. That's that's really work. I guess you could say it's work. Cause well, work, work with China Mac. He, he has a motherfucker. We work all day, but it, it, it pays off real nifty. Right. Oh yeah, it's worth it. everything about. It's worth it's worth it. Have you done any content where you lifted weights? I got weights at my house. I, but okay, I for, okay. Uh, China Mag messaged me a while back about being on Mac Ventures, and I was thinking about it. You want to lift weights with me? But that's what I'm thinking. I know a dude who has a really, really good gym. Shout out to Bradley, Bradley Martin. Martin. Yeah, yeah, shout out. Yes, we can make something like that. You're down to make it happen because I want to know how much you can bench press. Like how much? How does this translate to the? I don't gym. know. I'm kind of a fat cast dude, but I got I got some. Nifty, well, you can uh, be fat. You just got to be I'm, strong. I'm seafy though. Know? I got, got you know. Like, yeah. You know, uh, What's your max bench? Have you ever ever maxed I out? I did that in a while. Okay. You know, but I'm I'm thinking for a shell cut 280, 300. 300 bench. Yeah. Wow. Okay. You got to set that up. I'm thinking. If not 300, cut 250. All right. 255. Um, yeah. Let's do 255. Uh, yeah. Hit my line, Bradley Martin. We're going to make this happen. Let's make it happen. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Much love. Thank you, Remo. Shout out to the legend, Crip Mac. Like, comment, subscribe. Did no he change a legend? I'm a legend now? Oh, yeah. You're a big legend. Oh. I said that on the No Jumper show yesterday. Oh. Do you Ninth feel like foot. a legend? Ninth foot. 55th Street. Do you feel like a legend? Uh, yeah, yeah. Cuss me. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Easily. Easily. Yeah. Hey. Let's let me and Kyle Massey have a 55th Street face since Kyle looked like me. Why not just do a pod? Do a pod? Get Kyle here then. Yeah, but no fade. No fade with Kyle? Yeah. No. He looked like me, though, so it's like cousins. We act like we fighting. Maybe we do a pod, and then we we'll, really fight, though, we'll do the fade later. Huh? We'll do the pod, and then we'll <laughs> figure out what's going on with the fade later. Right, right. Yeah, I, I always thought he could do some good, we could do some good uh, Mac Ventures or something. The show. All right. Me and Cuz. Look at you something. Me and Cuz definitely get something. No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. We out. No Jumper, the niftiest podcast in the motherfucking world. Correct it. Yeah, oh. niftiest. You heard him. Yeah. Oh.